Do you like to wait? Sometimes it seems like half of my time is spent on waiting. If it's not on one thing, then it's on another, and it just goes on and on and on. What do you spend your time waiting on? Waiting at the cash point? Waiting for the bus? Waiting to win the lottery? Waiting to pay off the mortgage? Waiting to find the one? Waiting to retire? Waiting to start living? So much of our life is spent in waiting. It seems that sometimes life is just one huge waiting room. I mean, waiting is emotionally taxing, it's time consuming and sometimes very financially draining. And it always seems like the other lane is going faster, doesn't it? Waiting in and of itself is difficult, but psychologists have found that some things make waiting worse. Like when we wait with no explanation, or when it's unfair, like when someone cuts in in front of us, or when we don't know how long we're gonna be waiting for. Even waiting alone is worse than waiting in a group. In the book of Proverbs, there's a passage that says that the person who listens to God, who watches out for him and who waits in front of his door every day will be happy and blessed. But not only that, it says the person who finds him finds life and receives favor from him. Find life, wait in front of God's door. What does that even mean? Well, I got to a point in my life where things were so complicated and so entangled, it was very, very messy and I needed help. So I knocked on all the doors that I could possibly think of. Among them was the self-help door and the door known as my best friend's advice. I tried one after the other after the other and I was getting nowhere. Finally, I decided to try God's door. After all, he was inviting me, he was challenging me to look out for him, to wait at his door and see what would happen. So I took him up on his offer and I waited. I waited and waited and waited. and waited. And then one day it happened. The door opened and the most amazing things happened, better than I could have ever imagined. I began to realize that this finding was a discovery. It was a, a process, an encounter and a meeting. Have you ever waited in line for concert tickets, uh, tickets to a football game or a tennis match? People sleep in tents on the streets of London in all sorts of weather just to get Wimbledon tickets. Why? Because they think it's worth it. What do you think is worth waiting for? I'll take a wild guess and say that you're waiting in front of a door right now, even as we speak. It may be the door of greater financial gain, or the door of glamour and prestige, or even perhaps the door of plain old social acceptance. Whatever it may be, why not wait at God's door? If you want to find something, it might as well be the source of life, right? And if you're already waiting on something, it might as well be on someone who you know is going to come through for you. The same challenge that I was presented with, I'm now passing on to you, and that is to wait at God's door, however long it takes till he comes out, because he definitely will. And when he does, your life will be the better for it. I mean, what have you got to lose? Besides, aren't you the least bit curious about what will happen when you do?